60 to 70 million Americans suffer from gastrointestinal disorders and undergo endoscopies and colonoscopies, which help to show structural problems in the digestive tract. A new medical center can now diagnose an assortment of GI problems based on how food is actually moving through your system. Maureen Halliday has those details. 40% of all Americans suffer from gastrointestinal diseases such as nausea, fecal incontinence, and IBS. Latira White knows the feeling. She spent a whole year throwing up every single night. I would vomit at least five times out the week at night. I will always get it at night. That's when she turned to a new breath and motility center at Mercy Medical Center. Hello, I'm Shakira. Let me know your breath test today. In this digestive clinic, patients breathe into a bag, and those breath gases are then tested for food intolerance and malabsorption, which means it analyzes how food is moving through the digestive system. People with motility problems like gastroparesis, where the stomach is not, you know, um, doing that process efficiently, the food will actually sit in the stomach for hours, even days at a time. But Latira was diagnosed with gastroparesis, leaving her feeling like she just eaten when she hadn't. Even though I'm hungry, I still felt full. I couldn't eat a whole meal. Finally, the breath's concentration of hydrogen and methane gas provide insight into any common sugar intolerance. Then I have a dietitian who works directly with me, and a lot of times the first step is to kind of have somebody, you know, objectively look at your diet and sort of identify, you know, potential trouble spots. Latira did that and finally found the relief she'd been looking for for more than a year. I'm Maureen Halliday reporting. If you do have an unexplained chronic GI symptom such as constipation, nausea, diarrhea, and heartburn, it may be time to consider a motility disorder.